Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Sunday, the 23rd day of June. Here we go. Today's halacha is about music during the three weeks. You know that the three weeks are a time of sadness, and because they are, the general rule is that we don't listen to music. Now, what exactly does that mean? Certainly going to a concert during the three weeks where you're at a public gathering made for entertainment that would, uh, with live music, that would for sure be out. When you start doing, uh, asking about more mild music like stuff on in the car, etc., then all the rabbis uh, you know, can give you different answers. So, um, so I'll just tell you the general rule on it. The, be- the more that you can minimize music during the three weeks, the better. You want to show that there is no temple and it means a lot to you that there's no temple and to just use loopholes and tricks to be able to listen to music um, would be not considered appropriate. So I'll tell you what the loopholes and tricks are. They are, well, you know, I'm not going to a concert, I'm just driving and in order to keep me alert while I drive I put on some elevator music in the background but it's not really entertainment, it's just to keep me alert or whatever. You may want to speak to your rabbi about that. Some, Some would say no, some would say yes. Uh, personally, I'd recommend that you try not to if you can manage to do it. Um, the same thing with, uh, you know, a cappella music. That's the music that a lot of people are putting out now that has no instruments, it's just singing. So they made it because they said, okay, you're not allowed to listen to music during the three weeks, just listen to our tapes, which have no music, just beautiful singing about Jewish themes. It's pretty wonderful. Some rabbis are saying not to do that either because it sure feels like music. It's beautiful to listen to and it's entertaining. And we should want to show during this time when we um, commemorate that we don't have a temple anymore, we should want to during that time say, I want to minimize my relaxation and listening to music, etc. So our recommendation here at the Daily Dvar is to try not to listen to music in your car if you can manage to do it. Um, try not to listen to the a cappella if you could manage to do it, but uh, but there are rabbis who are lenient on matters like that. Certainly, the biggest of them is to not go to big shows, um, giving you music and entertainment during times when we're supposed to be commemorating the loss of our temple. Singing songs on Shabbos is 100% considered okay. We don't show any signs of mourning during the day of the beautiful day of Shabbos. And uh, log on again tomorrow for more three weeks loss. Remember, the fast is coming Tuesday, early, early, early Tuesday morning. Bye-bye.